Hello, everybody. It is Friday. It is March 27th, and I just wanted to get on here and give you a couple reminders and a couple updates uh, just to make sure we're on the same page here. Um, so the first one that I have for you is that I just want to remind you that your Ancient India Study Guide is due today. Um, I wanted that one to be able to do a little bit quicker just because I want to make sure that I can check over it, get it back to you, so that when it comes time for a test next week, you can see if there's any mistakes that you might have made. Um, anybody that's turned in their uh, study guide in Google Classroom so far, I have graded and I've returned back to them. So you should be able to see your grade either on Google Classroom or on Progress Book. <clears throat> but if you have not turned it in to me through Google Classroom, I have not been able to see it yet. So make sure you finish up that Google Doc. If you have any questions about it, I can help you out today. And then uh, the other two assignments that I posted on Wednesday were the quizzes and the flip grid. A couple things about that. First off, those are not due until Tuesday. Um, Tuesday's going to be the day. Those ones you have a little bit more time on if you need a little bit more time. Most people have turned them in already. Uh, the Soul Stays flip grid should be pretty straightforward. Um, you're just giving me a little feedback on Soul Stays. But with the quizzes, um, one little note about that. You do need to sign up for a quizzes account when you click on the link that I provided on the classwork tab. Um, so with the quizzes, um, all you have to do is click and sign in with Google or sign up with Google. Um, I do think you need to put your birthday in there. But then after you get signed into that, um, just click on world history or social studies, and then you should see the ancient India practice. Most people have been able to get in, um, but just let me know if you're having issues with that. Your only requirement for the quizzes is to practice it one time. All right, It doesn't really matter your score. Um, obviously, you're trying to get a better score. Um, you can take it as many times as you want, but you're only required to take it once. Um, I've seen some people taking it 11 times. Um, it's really up to you. Um, that's great if you want to keep practicing it or just trying to beat people in the class. Um, you do see the leaderboard. You can see who has first place which I believe at the moment right now is Riley Case or Wyatt Sifke, one of those two. So um, that's a little bit about those two assignments. If you have any questions, let me know about that. I do have a quick joke. Uh, what did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? Get it? Like mom, baby, and then papa, but popcorn you eat. Okay. Uh, just a quick little shout out to Progress Book um, because that is something you also want to be checking. We tell you to check your Google Classroom and your email every day, but you probably should check your Progress Book every day too. One, because we update grades very quickly because we've been kind of doing that as we go. But also that's a really good way of knowing if you're missing anything. So if you go on to my class and you see that you have a couple assignments on there without grades, that's probably because you haven't given them to me yet. I'm pretty much completely caught up on uh, Progress Book at this moment. So if you're looking on there and you think you've done something, but I have not marked you as doing it, make sure you let me know so I can go back in and check to see if I've gotten that from you. Okay, so keep checking Progress Book to see if you're missing anything. I was given some feedback um, through the Flipgrid that some people were missing Throwback Thursday, which I thought was a great idea to try to bring that back. I know it's Friday, but there's no rules, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So for Throwback Thursday, um, don't have questions this time, but I did throw a picture of myself as a little tot uh, on the screen here. So I don't know how old I was, but apparently it was picture day. I got all dressed up and very proper in that picture, but that was my picture for that. And then I have three pictures of sixth graders this year. Um, my hint over here is that she has two older brothers. You can find this student always smiling, walking through the hallways, and this one as well. Any guesses? All right. On the left, we have Grace Arnold. Whoops, it kind of got moved around a little bit. Grace is right here. Christian Irwin is right here in the middle. And then Olivia's name is supposed to be over here, but Olivia will be over right here on the left. Um, I'll try to keep doing those. As, if you have pictures to submit to me, uh, feel free to send them in. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you get that study guide turned in today. And then if you have any questions, always let me know.